Finally. 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 Storm Shadow. Welcome back to Toy Art. My name is Zach Kinsella. I'm your host. And we always talk about the art of the action figure, the art of the toys on this Bad Mama Jan channel. And today we're talking Storm Shadow. Finally. Right? So let's get into it without any further ado. Storm Shadow. Like, this should have been in, like, the first couple of of shots of G.I. Joe Classified. At the same time, I'm glad he's not. So, like, as always with Toy Art, we're going to talk about what I think goes into the art of an action figure. The sculpt, the paint job, and then, of course, my final thoughts. I'm going to talk about, is this figure worth it as well as a special addendum? So keep watching to find out what I think of that. So first off, let's get into sculpting. And I'm going to do and take off his accessories. I'm going to bring the accessories right up front. And I'll show you he's got a compound bow. He has one removable arrow that fits in oh so nicely. And two sweet katana blades. We've seen this backpack before with Zartan, I believe it was. Um, but just look at the sculpting on this again like we have the arashikage symbol on here it's said in there the peg fits in nicely the bows and arrows like i said this fits in wonderfully it's got a great sculpt to it this bow like it has some tension on it. it's a tension compound bow i don't know if that's the uh technical term for it but that's the zach term for it and i just love these gi joe accessories are always awesome he also comes with a removable um, strap for his belt. And plugs in right in a little peg right in the side here. So let's get into this. Let's get into this sculpt. So one thing you'll notice right off the bat is that Hasbro is so good at letting the sculpt talk for itself. There's not a you know, black wash on here. None of that. Everything is just very much sculpt is just letting the sculpt talk. There are some different paint apps on here we'll talk about in a few moments, but I want to bring this close in here right on the, right up on the face. You can see he is angry. Mine has a little bit of a paint app problem there. I'm just gonna like go over that with a marker or a uh, paint pen. But he's got blue eyes if you come in close. He's got those trademark angry storm shadow eyebrows. He's got a place for a hood that he can pull over. It did come with a hood. I just didn't bring it with me. And then, of course, you've got what I think is a trademark for Storm Shadow that none of the figures recently have had is the torn shoulder. Um, the gun sun's out, guns out, torn shoulders here. Uh, sleeves. There we go. Words. Thank you. So he has a great um, belt that comes around here that uh, like lines up right there with his peg comes with two ninja stars just like the classic one and a really nicely detailed buckle you can see right down the bottom that's where you get to see like right where the shirt meets the belt and the belt wonderfully sculpted right around the waist there you can take this off I didn't really try um, but it's probably pretty easy to take off if you pop the head off I have no reason to do so honestly um, he's buff, like homie, homie works those arms, right? He does also have gauntlets that have wraps around the interiors here, which are really nice. And then just some plain gauntlets around the, on, on the arm. He does have sculpted to where you can be holding his um, arrow with a bow right here. Or you can just do two swords like how I display them. I kind of display them like the old school packaging. I think the nitty gritty of a G.I. Joe classified figure is in the legs, honestly. Because you can start to see, like, right where they start to really take care of, like, what the pants would look like. And then you didn't really see this, like, in the old school figures. What you would see is, like, you wouldn't see the marks of the fabric seams. And that's what I really like and how they go into detail with these flaps around the in interior corners in here. Is that there's some work on those seams it looks like something that someone would actually wear and then of course coming down further i just knocked off his uh his belt some more of those gray wraps along with 
some really sweet ninja foot pad shoes treads whatever you want to call them if you come around the bottom not a whole lot of detail in these but they don't need to be i do think it's really fun when when a company puts in like details right on the bottom of the feet but that's just me coming around the back side again we've got that detail back there for his uh, pants he is pinless which is nice just wonderful articulation really makes for a nice seamless figure coming all the way up and you can push these hips up if you don't want to see it you can also pull them down they have a hinge inside there which i think is really cool for some great articulation and of course his mask has some great detail in it as well too overall like the sculpting on this figure um really just gasses me out honestly i think excuse me i think that they really like took their time with this figure and they really put a lot into the sculpting of it even though it's a very simple looking figure you can see right around the chest again i'm going to bring it back into focus here right around the chest you can see where the gi comes together underneath the bandolier and they put the bandolier and the gi on the opposite end so you can really see those details come out which i think is a really really nice touch on that sculpt um coming into paint right so here's our next segment paint <laughs> the artistry of paint again hasbro really good at like lenny those guys um on his team letting these sculpts talk for themselves like there's gray right there on the on the wraps but there's not a whole lot of detail and like paint app it's just gray and there's a little bit of dry brushing it looks like on those apps and same with his legs here there's a little bit of dry brushing in and around um some nice detail in those brushes those brushes right there um however everything else is just super white and uh, outside for these two fingers which is a great little nod to like art like archery it is an archery glove that he's using right there so nice subtle little nod there same with like his shoulders there's not a whole lot of detail as far as paint goes so i like that personally i like to let light show off the detail of a figure because like when i move it around here back and forth you can see like the striations of the uh deltoid and same with like back here with his bicep you can see that it moves differently i don't have to put lines in there and unless we're going for a certain like actual artist style like say like a jack kirby where you'd want big bold lines to make it look like a jack kirby action figure i don't think that it's necessary at all and i kind of really prefer this i love simplicity in my action figures and those are some of my uh thoughts on the paint the actual like if i bring them in closer like i said there's a little niche right up here where there's a paint app and that's the uh, downfall of pre-ordering but the plus of pre-ordering is like i got this sucker finally and i got him <laughs> like uh in the mail just the other day along with my spirit and my croc master which are my next couple of reviews so keep an eye out for those popping up over the next week or two um so really well, i want to share a couple thoughts about like was this worth it is this storm shadow was the weight worth it let's talk about that for a minute so i wanted to talk about really like what hasbro has done here and with this whole line um which has been a lot of patience a lot of waiting and do i think it was worth it um you know i'm literally scratching my head it's a little bit of a head scratcher like when i get the figures they are just absolutely amazing as i'm showing you through all this whole video like this is a work of art i wouldn't have started this channel without gi joe classified that's the that's the whole truth of it all like i love gi joe classified it's my main like modern line despite all this marvel legends back here <laughs> classified is my main groove and i love gi joe so I was just thinking about that it's been such a long time waiting for these figures and you know it's clear that like hasbro has some kind of overhead problem being a larger company whereas places like mcfarland uh don't like and we've been i've been speculating on this with some other friends in the toy making industry i guess you could call them um, just about like why this is taking so long it's not even independent manufacturers are having this much of a problem with supply chain issues like it's kind of a misnomer at this point so what's going on with hasbro they're not being um 
forthcoming with any of that information. So we have a speculation. So all I can say is like, you know, I think it's a supply chain um, overhead issue, but that's just me. I could be totally wrong. And hopefully it doesn't offend anybody <laughs> out there from Hasbro land watching this. Um, Cause I do think they're worth the wait. You know, when I sat here, opened up snake eyes, I have um, not snake eyes, uh, storm shadow. Um, I, I got my spirit and I also got my uh, croc master at the same time. So now I have the stuff I've been waiting for. And now like I'm expecting the next batch of classified figures to be a little later in the summer here with Dr. Mindbender, um, Sergeant Slaughter, at least those are orders. So I'm not expecting any classified stuff until next year along with a his tank. And so I've set my expectations um, appropriately, honestly, with that. Like, it's fine because I've been diving into a lot of retro stuff. You're going to see some Exo Squad videos soon, so that's a spoiler. Um, so I just really want to say that I think that they are worth it. They're definitely worth waiting for. And now they're like, they seem to be like, coming out and saying they just said with dr mindbender they're making three times the of the amount of the exclusive zartan that they made last year so i think we're gonna see this clear up in 2023 i don't think this will be much more of a problem especially after the uh wonderful showing that the his tank has you still have time to get it you should get it because it's awesome like that thing blew my mind and i was not excited for a his tank all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, no, I'm I'm here for a his tank. <laughs> so um, with that being said, yes, classified, big delays. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Check out some of my final thoughts here coming up for that. And uh, let's get back to the fun stuff. So like I said, absolutely well worth it. It is a phenomenal figure. It's going to look so good next to the other ones. Next to my Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, which is when he plays the good guy. Um, although he looks fairly angry right there, too. They're pretty similar sculpts in, from the Arctic Missions one, if you're curious about that. Um, but really, like, finally, classified figures are coming in. And I'm just super happy to be have something to review from classified again. <laughs> I was going to, like, start reaching into some of the other ones that I have and be like, oh, this is the roadblock from a year ago. Uh, but thankfully, these have started shipping, and I can't wait for my Tomax and Zaymot to come in and talk about those. So, those are some of my final thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Okay, so that was Storm Shadow, like one of the most amazing G.I. Joe classified figures out there. There's plenty to order, along with Alley Vipers, Bats, Croc Masters. They're all out there. They're all coming. It's finally happening. Um... It's an exciting time to be a G.I. Joe fan, and I think it's just going to get better. Um, as always, if you love this video, that's awesome. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I would love more subscribers. Let's talk some more G.I. Joe. I'm going to have a lot more G.I. Joe content coming at you. Um, I'm hoping this won't become a full-time G.I. Joe channel, but if it does, I won't be mad about it. Just going to say. So um, share this with a friend who loves some G.I. Joe. I'm going to be sharing it out there in the universe on these G.I. Joe pages. Um, hopefully you jumped in and hopefully you love some G.I. Joe. And just for today, let's say Cobra. <laughs>